shows. I don't have an app like this, like Goodreads, like Letterboxd for TV shows. If you have any that you like, let me know in the comments because I need to find like a way to track the shows I watch. But anyway, today we're going to go through my Letterbox page. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can tell, my username is just my name, Haley Sherpa. Uh, you can follow me or whatever. I don't, I don't really know how Letterbox works socially because I think the only person I'm friends with is my brother. Oh, let's see. I'm following two people. Oh, my friend Mana and my brother. So, but anyway, this is what my page looks like. My bio is Amy Dunn, apologist, which perfectly ties us into my four favorite movies. Letterbox lets you select like four favorites to display on your profile. So, these are four of my many favorites. First, we have Gone Girl. Gone Girl, Gone Girl. One of my favorite book-to-movie adaptations, and just, oh, such a great movie. And, as mentioned, I am an Amy Dunn apologist. Next, we have Mean Girls, of course. Like, it is my comfort movie, for sure. Probably the one movie I've rewatched the most in my life. And I never get sick of it. So then we have The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. Again, another great booked movie adaptation. This is the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. And it's my favorite. Um, oh, I just love it so much. The cinematography is beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing. One of my favorite stories. Come on. Go on now. And lastly, we have Burlesque. Oh, one of my favorites. I feel like this is like my deep cut, like favorite movie. I feel like it's so underrated with Cher and Christina Aguilera. I have like the entire soundtrack memorized front to back. So I love Burlesque. Okay, now we'll go on my recent activities as I've watched 18 movies so far this year. Let's just click on recent activity. Okay, so the last month, I've only watched three movies. As you can tell, I'm much more of a um, TV kind of girly, but the last movie I watched was Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um, I went and saw this in the theaters because my aunt had a birthday, like, and all of our family went and saw the movie. Um, for her birthday, it wouldn't have been something I would have, like, chosen to see myself, but she loved Ghostbusters, you know, the original, so, um, I gave it a two star, <laughs> and I said, they spent a hundred million dollars on this. Yeah, it was, um, I don't know, like, just stick to the original Ghostbusters. Next, I rewatched The Fall in Our Stars, uh, with Josh, because he had never seen it, and I was like, oh my god, this book and movie, like, changed my life when I was, you know, 13. And honestly, I still loved it, gave it a four star, I said, aside from the kiss in the Anne Frank house, this movie still eats, and I stand John Green, period. And then I did finally watch Oppenheimer because they put it on Peacock, 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 and I was like, yeah, I gotta see what the hype's about, I wanted to watch it before Oscars, so I watched it a month ago, and I gave it four stars not my type of movie. I'm just not like an historical girly. I don't care for historical books, movies, television shows. It's just history was like my least favorite subject in school. Um, but it's a brilliantly done movie and I was so intrigued. I think everyone did amazing except for Josh Peck. I have no fucking clue why Josh Peck was in this movie. But everyone else, like, he didn't do bad, but I was just like, it really took me out of the story. I feel like you see Josh Peck, and I'm just like, that is Drake and Josh. Like, I don't know why they casted him. And then I was, like, so curious that I went and I, like, googled the man that Josh was playing to see. Like, I was like, maybe they look alike. No. No, they don't. But anyway, <laughs> everyone did great. I gave him four stars, and I said, the sound team deserves a raise, because I feel like if you took out, like, the music and the audio effects of the film, it, would, it wouldn't be half as good as it is. I think the way that they did the audio was really, really cool. But, yeah, four stars. I definitely prefer Barbie. Sorry. sorry. Is anyone surprised that I prefer Barbie? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, let's 
good as the first one, but it was still really good. Little Women, five stars. Oh my god, amazing. The 2019 one with um, Florence Pugh and Timothy Chalamet, of course. Joker, four stars. I cannot, speaking of Joker, I literally cannot wait to see Joker Folie Adieu, the sequel that they're making with fucking Lady Gaga, and they're singing like they they yassified the Joker movie, and I'm so excited because I, I did enjoy the first Joker movie. I gave it four stars. Um, it's funny because my boyfriend rewatched it like a week ago, and he was like, do you want to watch it? And I was like, honestly, no. I did like the Joker movie, but I'm someone that I get so much like secondhand embarrassment from like watching shows and stuff. And if you've seen the movie, you'd know, like, it's his origin story, how the Joker becomes a Joker, and he just goes through so much shit, and everyone treats him like shit, and I just felt so much, like, second-hand, like, pain and embarrassment, but yeah, I just, it was so intense that I, I liked the movie, but it's not one I would, like, want to relive, <laughs> but it is good. Um, it, I gave, oh, it, chapter two, I only gave three stars, I didn't really care to see, like, all of them grown up as adults, but I thought the first it was really good. The live action Lion King, so sad to say, I only gave it two stars. Again, I, I, there's something about like a real ass lion that opens up its mouth and then Childish Gambino's voice comes out. Like Donald Glover. <laughs> hey guys, it just like didn't, it didn't work for me. Midsummer, four stars. Toy Story 4, two stars. Toy Story 4 pissed me the fuck off because how are we gonna spend like the entire first three movies talking about how much friendship is important and like found family and like Woody and Buzz and how Jesse they like find each other and then at the end of Toy Story 4, Woody just decides to leave everyone to go fuck Lil Bo Peep. Like he really met one blonde patty and said, guys, I'm out of here. Like the ending of that movie pissed me off. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, where'd it go? Okay. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I gave, I put three stars, but looking back, it's probably two stars, because I don't remember much other than Feet and Mark Aquali. Homecoming by Beyonce. Five stars. I love Beyonce. Bohemian Rhapsody. Three stars. I think I, did I review it? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, two and a half stars. Why'd they have to make a movie about one of the gayest artists and make it homophobic like that? Thank God for the cat representation, though. I love Freddie Mercury. Yeah, um, uh, to all the boys I've loved before, three stars. Mamma Mia, here we go again. I gave three and a half, but the original Mamma Mia is an infinity star. It's five, seven, eight, nine, ten million stars we love. Jurassic World, three stars. Incredibles 2, four stars. A Quiet Place, five stars. We talked about that. Love, Simon, four stars. I Love Dogs, four stars. Black Panther, five stars. Greatest Showman, four stars. Happy Death Day, two stars. Lady Bird, four and a half. Did I review that? <laughs> yeah, I said mommy issues. Relatable. The Disaster Artist, three stars. Hidden Figures, four stars. Moana, four stars. Split, two stars. Edge of Seventeen, three stars. La La Land, amazing, five stars. Finding Dory, five stars. Train to Busan, I gave that movie three stars because it personally victimized me like I was sobbing. Ten, Cloverfield Lane, two stars. Deadpool, four stars. The Revenant, three stars. Mocking Jay, three stars. Inside Out, five stars. One of my favorite Pixar movies. Paddington, three stars. Mocking Jay, part. Oh, Mocking Jay, part one. I got three. Mocking Jay, part two. Three. I just gave both of them three. Big Hero Six, five stars. Love that movie. The Maze Runner, three and a half. Amazing books, but the movies I felt like weren't as good. Dawn of the Planet Apes. I fucking hate Planet Apes movies. <laughs> I gave it one star for like the longest time. That was my boyfriend's favorite movies were the Planet Apes movies. And so I saw like three of them and they're all just the same fucking shit. I hate them. 22 Jump Street, three stars. Maleficent, three stars. Wolf of Wall Street, five stars. Love that movie. Frozen, three stars. Catching Fire, five stars. Best Hunger Games movie. The Starving Game. <laughs> Josh wanted to watch this. My boyfriend got to pick for movie night. <laughs> so yeah, we ended up watching the 
Hunger Games parody and it was so bad. It was so bad. Where the Millers, three stars. Monsters University, five stars. Spider-Man, four stars. Spring Breakers, four stars. Perks of being a wallflower, one of my favorites. Five stars. Pitch Perfect. We rewatched this like recently and it's still eight. Four and a half. <laughs> the Purge, three stars. Brave, four stars. Dead, two stars. Hunger Games, five stars. 21 Jump Street, four stars. Three and a half stars for Think Like a Man. Crazy Stupid Love, one of my favorite rom-coms. Another movie that I've rewatched like over and over. Five stars. Bridesmaids, five stars. Hilarious. Tangled, three stars. Megamind. I, I think that's an unpopular opinion. I am kind of a Tangled hater. I just think everyone, for some reason, everyone picks Tangled as like their favorite Disney princess movie and I just genuinely don't really get it. Um, which is funny because everyone says that Josh looks like Flynn Rider, but... <laughs> okay, Megamind, four stars, easy A, four and a half. Did I review it? I said, I love Stanley Tucci. And is that the fucking truth? Inception, five stars. Despicable Me, four stars. Eclipse, three and a half stars. Toy Story 3, four stars. Alice in Wonderland, four stars. Princess Frog, four and a half. New Moon, three and a half. Zombieland, four. Mamma Mia, five. We talked about that. House Bunny. Oh, I love House Bunny so much. Great movie, five stars. Twilight, five stars, of course. Coraline, five stars up, five stars. Jennifer's Body, five stars. Like, we're just boom, 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 banger, 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 banger. Love it. I gave Juno four stars, but I think I need to rewatch that. I don't know if that would still hold up. Ratatouille, four stars. Shrek the Third, four stars. Cars, four stars. High School Musical, four stars. Corpse Bride, five stars. I love Corpse Bride. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, so odd. Four stars. Madagascar, four stars. The Incredibles, four stars. Polar Express, four stars. The Notebook, five stars. I simply can't. Simply can't. Ryan Gosling in that movie. No further questions, thank you. Shrek 2, four stars. 13 going on 30, four stars. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, four and a half stars. Saw, five stars. The first movie. When he stands up in the back. Changed my life. Okay. Elf, four stars. School of Rock, three stars. Nemo, five stars. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, four and a half. Catch Me If You Can, four stars. Lilo and Stitch, five stars. Lilo and Stitch is forever. Like my favorite Disney movie. Monsters, Inc., five stars. Princess Diaries, four stars. Legally Blonde, four stars. What? Like it's hard. I made Josh watch that recently and iconic. Shrek, five stars. Oh, is that the, yeah, that's the first one. Sorry, got low power. Well, I think I got 10%. Okay, let's rush through. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, five stars. American Psycho, three stars. Toy Story 2, four stars. 10 Things Ate About You, five stars. Cruel Intentions, this movie is fucking crazy. I gave it four stars though. It is, it did not age well. It is problematic, but it is fucking fun. The director said cut, but Sarah Michelle Keller heard cunt, and thank God she did. And that's true. A Bug's Life, four and a half. Parent Trap, five. Truman Show, four. Titanic, four. Scream, five. Matilda, one of my faves, five. Toy Story, I don't remember which of the Toy Stories, four. Clueless, five. The Mask, five. That was like one of my favorite movies as a kid. Forrest Gump, four. The Original Lion King, five stars. Pulp Fiction, three. The Nightmare Before Christmas, five. Jurassic Park, two stars. Thelma and Louise, four stars. Edward Scissorhands, five stars. Home Alone, two stars. The Little Mermaid, animated, four stars. Heathers, a cool classic fave of mine, five stars. Hellraiser, two stars. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, four stars. The 
Breakfast Club, four stars. Halloween, the first one, three and a half. Grease, I gave four and a half. Jaws, I gave three. And the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I also gave three. So, those are all the recent movies I have listed on my letterbox profile. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what movies you've been watching lately, what movies 